Here, Sparebo off spawn, definitely switched it up, landing at the gas station, uncontested. I mean, not necessarily really uncontested, but... <laughs> Move you away from his cam so you can see him vibe. What is it? I like the guy in the background, too, with like the glasses. It's cool to see these POIs develop a little bit, though, in terms of fights. Bully now playing a little bit more passively. He was not six games in the finals. He was eight games. Don't make things up. Dago out of Lazy Lake this time. That was a mid-game fight last time, so definitely rotated in now that we see this. But he's got this guy on the back foot. There's a door that he can maybe make it out. Yes, he did. Hey, guys. What's up, guys? Man, that was a little bit of scuffed movement. Is he out of mass? One build, so. Yeah. That's a spray. As as pure aim. No SMG bullets left on this man that he's fighting up here at Winter Tower or the weather station. No nice. one's actually gone down. The first off spawn elimination. And Snow was the person who went down, so he missed last game and then went died off spawn this game. So, mental done. Oh, Wolfies. Big beams off start, start already down towards weeping again. Remember, like this rotation path that he has is so difficult. And knowing that he has somebody on the back foot, already took off the shield, tries to keep the pressure up. Does he have any more heals to play with? He's actually going to leave. No way. People are learning. Ooh. Huge shot coming in. Another connect only 22. Flows right now, way above Surge. His HUD UI is so low scale, but regardless, look at this loadout from him. Purple AUG, TAC, a couple big pots. Here's the zone update. Let me turn off the camera so we can completely see it. It's a sweaty zone. So Punisher, so Frey, um, who else? Maybe Zate? Epic Whale if he lived. Epic Whale if he lived. I don't, I don't. If I'm Flo's position, I really don't want to fight at all. Obviously, you need to just protect yourself against Storm Surge players like this. Exactly what he did. Actually, it's very smart. Just tagging right back. Ooh, it's Zate who goes down. A 1v1 box fight, and then the third party coming in from the side. Zate must have gotten pressured too much to lose that. Flo is coming out on top there. He takes the wall, too. Still going for it. Big shots coming through with the tag. I think he gets the reset, and now the impact. He gets the loot. And for some reason, this guy does not want to stop. The Storm Surge is strong with this one. <laughs> Definitely either doesn't have enough tags left or needs those floppers that he saw and smelled off of Zayt's body. This wall control is so important. Whoever has it kind of controls exactly what's going on in these other three boxes as well. Flo's kind of backs off, got the refresh. Might not need the fish specifically. Might be baiting it as well. Very nice leg shot, cracking that shield almost. Has that ramp now in a position to use it. And now finally get the full... Reward from his impact frag. Oh, oh no! The wall was open on the backside and drastic change in the developments of the situation. He did get the loot out of that, but all of a sudden he has to waste basically every single piece that he picked up. And now you're delving into his resource pool, you know, aside from the impact frag. It's so hard to keep track when there's so many things going on close by with Storm Surge. Possible nerves in play as well. Eyes are going to be on him as he rotates, though, from that west side. Whoever he landed that sniper rifle is probably going to still try to get a few shots in. Does not have an SMG, which he kind of relied on for a lot of eliminations. So we'll see how he plays with an AR. High Sky, though, alive in endgame. Zex is here, too. These are the 20th places overall on the leaderboard right now. High Sky a little bit lower. See if we can get up there at the moment. Punisher, you mentioned it. Sweaty Zone is alive. Thomas, I haven't seen much from today. Alpha as well. Mm -hmm. A little bit lower on that leaderboard. Steens, though, from the first game, popped off. Kind of went low-key a little bit after that. They're on that open side that I was talking about, so towards the northwest. Is this zone, like, loot? I'm confused here. Let's see, though. This is on the mail that we're watching. Okay, yeah, they're all the way up on that northeast, actually. And the zone continued to pull towards Weeping Woods, south. When it comes to 
just having a loadout, chilling out, using and abusing it. The concentration on Bully's face is just a different side when it comes to approaching the game. Precision, accuracy, wood builds, no hits, unfortunate. Oh my goodness. Even more unfortunate is his zone right now. Man. I think he needs to opt to just completely give up on this. He did get the storm surge tags. He's up to 528. There's some information here. The match status. Zexor actually has the first elimination of the game. Moraine has three. Moraine has three eliminations total. Meanwhile, Punisher up on that north side. Has a way to go, but because he can play edge, probably okay on this rotation. I think right side is a little bit more congested. Save it. Sniper Rifle King. All right. I really think this is looking good because the situation, being on the backside of zone like this, he keeps having to be able to go up and up and up and actually rely on old builds of these people. And he could even do exactly this. Start playing floppers really early and possibly make another hype play like we saw in game number two. And he has 60 seconds to use in zone with these floppers. But there's someone right beside him with a bandage gun as well. He's going to be looking for an impact afterwards, so Wolfies has to be careful. That bandage is going off multiple times over and over again. Not sure how this person is surviving underground. Ooh, a person way ahead of zone. Oh, no. That's the exact counter to what Wolfies is doing. Exact counter. Taking zone later in towards that seventh zone way ahead. And now he has to play ultimate low ground with no... Oh, if he gets that... Nah, he's pretty much done now. I was saying if he got that Siphon, there would have been a chance, but... One player causes the entire game to change, the entire thing. Now Frey in towards the end, too. This is back. Don't forget. Here's Jinx slightly ahead of Frey, but basically both on that first start of the sixth zone. This is the bandage bazooka that we're hearing from Wolfies. This is the other perspective. This is um, one of Jinx's prime positions to be in, but he doesn't have the tools to actually, you know, get work done. The SMG not in his inventory. That bandage gun reloading once again as he moves forward. As much as he can delay possible, or as much as he can, the more he can delay the game, the better off he is at the moment. He stays alive in his cone. Smart play. Still not in zone yet. So long to go. Bully picking up one. Jelty picking up one. Here's Frey. Ooh, does find Jelty actually, right? As I say, and he gets in the box. Takes out two. And Jinx continuing. Alpha goes down in that. The bandage bazooka keeping him alive. He's still got plenty of charges to go and finds an old build. This is an old Tarpy's following, but the risk with it is that a lot of people have seen it already developed. They know the weak spots. Jinx tries to roll through. That weak spot showing, he gets popped up. Oh then it doesn't matter because he gets a full shot. Half the impact from it, though. I believe he only picked up the brick. Still has no match. This is his last box. Has to find another spot to go into. Could have maybe went back in his zone to loot a little bit. At least the 150 of the Siphon Jinx. Again, oh another my one. God. And it's Bizzle. Can he find the last one? No. 15th place. For him, Nanolite is streaming. He has three eliminations of his own, so another possibility here. Jinx and OCE showing up today. Yeah, these guys shoot shots and they connect hard. Nanolite, though, is going to be in a very hard position here, trying to get those shots connected too. Has floppers, though, to use and stay alive in zone. He's going to keep moving forward, see what he can get done. On the backside now, still floppers has to pop them so close there. Taking a little bit of a risk. At the time that he popped that, but does finally get in the zone. It's over Holly Hedges right now. Good tunnels for him. Starting to run out of mats, though. 400 looks like metal remaining. Can't really see too much. The bit rate not great on the stream. 20 players remaining. Yep, and only four seconds to be able to play in zone with before he can get a siphon. Has that compact SMG that we saw multiple people drop earlier on as well. This is exactly where Nano needs to be, but unfortunately, we'll go down in 18th place on height now. Is someone we were watching earlier on, Bala. This is Flowsick, I, or Flowis, I think, from Ryzik. He's actually going to go back in zone. He has no mass to build up, but he does take it out. Is that? I don't know who that was we just took out, but regardless, two limbs, and he makes it in with one tick left. A couple mats still remain to keep him alive. The trap's so quick, but it's not going to connect. He's playing on the very brink of both health and the zone and ammo counts in terms of rockets. Yeah and capabilities of his utility now dropping down. I think it's the final 1v1. It's Jams and Rex actually facing each other. Flowis goes down from height. It's a fight all the way from the skies to the ground. Rex has shields he can pop, but it's not going to be enough time. The big shot's coming in. Rex claps back. Jams goes down. Six eliminations for Rex from 100 Thieves. You just got picked up two days ago, and now game number four is done, and Rex is coming up on top. We've got Savage.
all the way in first place, 189 points. I'm going to refresh it on my side as well so we can follow along. But this man popped off that game. Let's go. All the way up here, though, too. Uh, Repulse got actually holding his position. I'm going to tune in real quick with Repulse. Um, 31st place, two eliminations. Last game was first, obviously. We saw him win that game out. He's been playing very consistently. He gets the whole second place. Rex, though, popping all the way up after that win. Six eliminations. Third place now, Nanolite still holding strong. 